Hey there, everyone. So I just got out of a really hot bath. Uh, one of the ways that I relax and get calm. I'd love to know what you all are up to, but it's got my face a little bit red. So I don't know if any of you have heard of the emotional freedom technique or EFT tapping. It's a tool that's been used by psychologists, by different pros, and um, it was originally discovered because there was someone dealing with a phobia of getting into the pool and she just couldn't get over it. Hi, who's here? Who's watching? Hello, hello, where are you watching from? So the emotional freedom technique, it's something that I've went through a certification course in and had profound breakthroughs and it was pretty cool. One of my partners was a psychologist and we practiced on each other and she said that the reason she was getting the certification is that there were certain clients that all the talk therapy, she could only get them so far. And when she started teaching them tapping, that they, you know, started to get really good results. So right now when we're dealing with stress and emotions and different high levels of energies around us, it can be a great way to just help the brain make new connections and to calm the nervous system. So I'll give you a few, like a high, like a quick, hi Nora, I'll give you a quick, um, you know, lesson in EFT tapping. Have you heard of EFT tapping? But you can look it up. There are a ton of YouTube videos on there and it's a great tool for dealing with stress, dealing with uncomfortable emotions. You can even use it, you know, with your kids as they're processing emotions. And it definitely, definitely works. They've used it with prisoners. Um, I mean, they've used it with uh, for PTSD. There are all kinds of studies on it. But basically, what you do is when you're in a stressed out state or like in this negative emotion, um, and I'll, I'll give you a story about it first. So I was in this class, I was sitting with um, someone working, hi Crystal, hi Nora, to give you an example of how this works, because it's not just for dealing with stressful emotions, but, and let me know if you've heard of EFT tapping before. Um, so I came to my practice session that was a five minute session with the idea that I wanted to be able to just finally own my voice, right? Like I'd done lots of coaching prior to the certification. And when I, um, when I went to this tapping certification and we we're doing this practice, I just wanted to own my voice. And I, you know, I'd written several books that I never published or almost launched, you know, launched companies and then backed out. And in this one tapping session that I did, um, I had this aha that there was a part of me that really wanted to speak my truth, but there was another part of me that believed my voice was dangerous. Hi, Sarah. And it was so interesting because all these images started coming up in my mind really, really quick. It was like a five minute, really quick thing. And um, it was connected to when I was like eight years old and the person I talked to all the time was also the person molesting me. And when I realized that that was wrong, so I thought it was this grown up thing, um, I just, I guess, made up some kind of story that my voice was dangerous, like my voice attracted danger to me. And it was interesting because in that same little EFT tapping session, I kept getting these, sorry, they're mowing outside. I kept getting, I got this image of my lips and being, nude and I got the message because I always loved red lipstick on everyone else um, and I tried so many different colors over the years and I always just I just had the story that red does not look good on me and after I did that tapping session in the tapping session I realized the thought came up too that that's why I didn't put red because red is a power color and that I didn't want to draw attention to my mouth or to my voice or to my words. So it was so interesting because I had all this great vision 
that I wanted to help people, that I wanted to make a difference in the world. And then I had these opposing underlying things that I didn't even know were there. And in five minutes, it wasn't like then I sat with that thought and just had to process all that. It was like the next red lipstick I put on my face, I loved it. And obviously soon after that, I moved right into my coaching careers and getting the resources I need so that I could own my voice and um, learn to show up and find my divine clients and all the other things that helped me. So in, in that same session, I mean, I've worked with people that you know, had realizations. One woman was really frustrated with herself for the way she was eating. And then in one tapping session, realized she was eating to connect with her mother, you know? And um, it's just really, really powerful. But my point is, I'm gonna show you how to do it because you can do it anytime. Thank you for the love. And you can Google or look on YouTube. Louise Hay has a tapping session on there that was very mean, meaningful to me. Um, and there's tapping for everything, for weight loss, for stress management, for relationships, for, um, but again, it was originally designed and helped someone overcome an extreme phobia of getting in the water. So what you do is you use the tips of your fingers and there are certain places that you tap. And so you tap on the top of your head and you don't even have to say out loud what it is that you're feeling. Hi, beautiful. You just, but if you're alone and you can, say it out loud, you know? So right now, it might be like with what we're dealing with right now, like I feel anxious about the unknown. I feel really cagey living and staying inside of the house all the time. I miss gathering in circles, you know. And so what you're doing is, I'm gonna show you the points that you tap on, but you're gonna say out loud whatever words are coming up, right? Whatever words are coming up. So I'm sitting in my bed. Let me see if I can hold this so that I can show you the whole thing, because I just, okay, so you would tap here first then the inside of the eye, and you can find this on YouTube right there, then the outside right here, then under the eye, then you're tapping under the nose, under the lip, the collarbone, I just got out of the bath, and I'm gonna cross right back here to the rib cage, okay, like opposite side, and then you tap Finally, here, okay? So if you wanted to practice with me right now, just processing anything that you may be feeling about work, about economics, about health, you know, you could tap on top of your head and you tap what you're feeling and thinking and then at the end you say, I totally love and accept myself. So it would be like, even though I feel completely stressed out, kind of out of control, Whatever feelings are coming up, no judgment, because this is actually gonna help you process. It helps your brain process the emotions and can be helpful. I'm not a therapist, right? I'm just showing you a tool that I use and that I learned. Okay, so even though I feel stressed out, anxious, overwhelmed, um, uncertain, even though you know the economy is changing and it's really, really weird and a little bit scary even though i'm trying to stay super positive um and i feel nervous about what's happening in the world i feel a little bit of judgment about not <laughs> knowing or about feeling nervous even though i have some anxiety about the health of our economy the health of my family and friends even though i feel nervous about just walking into the unknown even though I'm frustrated that things have pivoted so hard, right? So tapping under the rib cage, I completely love and accept myself. So then you tap down here. Even though I don't know what's going to happen next, even though I'd really love to be outside with my friends and family, even though I really like the idea of being on stages and getting to be with people and now we can't do that right now, even though I'm just uh, so frustrated staying inside and trying to do my work and also help my daughter do her work. And even though I feel kind of guilty 
about that not flowing real well and like I should be producing more or doing more and then on the collarbone even though all of these emotions are anxious you know are just like these feelings of anxiety and then under the rib cage again right so like under the rib cage and then the karate chop I completely love and accept myself so it looks hi Jacqueline hi David hi Marcus so it can look you know a little weird if you haven't ever done it before but if you do any research on it you're gonna find the statistics are so high for it being able to help you process stressful emotions to make new connections um, to move out of fight or flight and to be able to handle and be more resourceful with what's going on and i think right now we need all the tools <laughs> we need to use all of our tools right so this is one that i've been using a lot lately and i've used it over the years i i love it so much that i went and got you know um, went through a certification course on it and like i said there was an amazing top psychologist in there and she was saying that there's work that she's done with clients for years and nothing was working to move them further and she applied tapping and then boom you know they finally were able to move on you love tapping too Jacqueline yeah it's so great so um you know that was a quick lesson in it and I know it was a little bit hard to see so definitely look on YouTube and Nick Ortner has some great videos look at the one with Louise Hay and there's everything that guided you can walk through with someone and the cool thing is you don't even have to say out loud how you're feeling so I know right now it can be a little hard to get some privacy if you've got a big family or maybe you're alone and if you are alone then you know do the tapping it's a free easy simple but powerful resource to just help manage you know help deal with things help have breakthroughs in your life um, and it, it's just look at the research and it's something you can do for yourself so again I'm you know I'm not a psychologist or a doctor I'm just showing you a tool that I use that has been used with you know PTSD phobias really extreme things all the way to just like how to be a peak performer how to blast past old you know beliefs that you don't even know are happening kind of like the one I shared with you um, that came up for me it was so fast and after that little session it was so crazy when I realized in that one five minute session that I was afraid of using my voice it wasn't like after that I went, okay, I'm not gonna be afraid anymore because that doesn't make sense. I'm gonna go get red lipstick. You guys, it was literally like, oh, hmm, uh, it, no real deep thinking, but then I went and the first red lipstick I put on, I actually loved it on my face. You know, it made a real shift, a real change in, in my logic and it was a different way than talk therapy. It was a different way, hi Ivy, than just, thinking about Ivy's a neighbor yay our, our daughters like play from a way distance two different yards it's so awesome they're yelling at each other like a whole new world um so you know it's one of those things that can make a difference in how you're feeling and help you calm down you can do it with children and it's not just about calm it's about your brain being able to let go of any limiting old beliefs that are coming up in the middle or blocking what's going on for you and where you're going and what you're doing in the world um and so i've been using it a lot lately i use it anyway just because like i shared that one five minute session not only helped clear the space for me to do what i'm doing now to write the book that's going to print in a few days um, and to just own my voice and be here, be present for myself, to, for the people that I am able to speak to and encourage and uplift, um, for the right to my own spiritual divine expression. But I always loved red lipstick on people and it was so crazy that my brain made red lipstick to me. I would look in the mirror and I hated it on my face. I truly envied women who could wear it and right after that 
I mean, red is my favorite color on my, and I love it. It's not just like, oh, I'm gonna prove something. My voice does matter. I'm gonna rock these red lips. It was like, it truly shifted the way my eyes see looking in the mirror. That's how powerful one five minute session was. So it's, it's extremely important. And Ron Bell is saying, in the 90s, it was called emotional freedom technique. Yeah, it still is, EFT. Doctor, sorry, I got a call. Dr. Garland Landreth has been doing it for many years. Nick Ortner is really good too. Yeah, a lot of people use and teach tapping, exactly. So you can look up a lot of people. I like Nick because, you know, he works with Louise Hay, and but there are so many great teachers out there. So you can just YouTube, find out who you're resonating with, and literally, they have everything, EFT for weight loss, EFT tapping for dealing with trauma. EFT, so it's a great tool for right now, even though I have no idea how the economy is going to change, even though I'm concerned about my health and well-being, even though I miss hanging out with other people. Thank you, Ron. Even though I'm anxious about what kind of mom I'll be, what kind of business part person I'll be, even though I'm frustrated that all of my fantastic plans have been derailed even though I'm doing my best to stay calm but still feel uneasy even though the news is crazy and negative and that makes me feel anxious even though I wonder if I'm dealing with this in the best way or if I was prepared enough and then tapping I completely love and accept myself so and tapping so you could just you go through several rounds, you start, and it's really best to do it. Hi, Japheth. It's really best to do it when you're feeling the anxiety, when you're in that kind of heightened space, which is different than what I'd learned before. You know, because I'm all about positivity and prayer and the power of the words and speaking blessing and not cursing over our lives. And I totally am. And it's like, if the dishes are dirty, you need to clean them. You know, there's not enough Febreze that will cover that, right? And it's not a negative thing. It's just is what it is, right? So there are a lot of things that we have going on. Like right now in our world, something's going on and it is what it is. And it has some really negative implications, but it also has some really positive ones. Um, like we can see the skyline, <laughs> there's not as much smog in LA, the stars are out in Texas, you know, there, there's, we're getting our quiet time, like a global time out, like, hey, go to your room and think, <laughs> um, you know, it's an invitation to slow down. So with EFT tapping, you want to do it when you're in that heightened state. When that emotion is right there, that's the best time to do it because the tapping kind of breaks up the patterns in your brain and helps your brain make new connections and create new resources and helps to bring it to calm so that you can actually process the emotion. So you keep doing it, rounds of it, until it kind of levels out. And sometimes it'll just level out your feelings and other times it's going to, you know, just bring you to this aha, crazy, phenomenal, like breakthrough idea. Um, and again, YouTube is a great resource for that because there are all these free sessions that you can just watch and you can even search by topic and really go deep and get supported with it. But I recommend definitely, definitely learn it because it'll be really helpful right now. You can use it with your kids to help them process emotions and then just use it in life, even on better, you know, more clear days where you're just looking for a breakthrough. Yeah, so Joanne is on this call, and that's so interesting because Joanne has known me since I think I was six years old, which is really rare for someone to know me that long because we moved a ton as a child. This is fabulous time for a worldwide reset. Yeah, I agree, Jacqueline. I I love it. It's um, it is like a a group going to your room right like um louise hay if you all know her you probably love her as as i do in her work it's been very meaningful to me 
And a lot of teachers talk about how our bodies give us messages, you know, like we'll often get a message and when you just keep working and working on top of stress and on top of all this stuff and pushing through, pushing through, sometimes what happens is your immune system drops, you end up not feeling well, and then there's this whole opportunity to slow down, to listen, to reset, and it feels like we're getting that in this world right now. Again, I'm my prayers and thoughts are out there to everyone who's been impacted by this and I want their health and well-being and I'm doing my best to stay in the centered place holding faith visioning this time where we all gather again together I was listening to a Yanla the other day and she was saying but you know it's a great idea to accept that right now the world is different it'll never ever be the same you know so the sooner we go you know what it's different right now and i'm gonna work with that i'm gonna work with that we live in a world right now where you've got to stay inside of your home and we live in a world right now where we need to slow down and be mindful and wash our hands more and yes we needed a forced vacation um and it's also a good time to use your vision and to use the tools that you have for connecting, for loving, for playing, for meditating, a hot bath, longer naps, like, you know, um, and I'll keep daily, I'm just going to keep coming on and giving you some of my favorite tips. I've spent over 25 years exploring different tools for transformation. Um, Most of my life, I've had three to four hours a day in self-development, and I've been able to work with a lot of great teachers. I'm super passionate about these things. So um, yeah, when I'm sharing, I'd love to hear yours too. I mean, we all have our own life experience that informs why and how we do things. And I love learning from other people as well. So when I'm sharing, it's just my favorite tips. Um, So yeah, Joanne's known me since I was six and she was actually Uh, back when latchkey kids were a normal thing. Thank you. It was like, um, you know, your parents would be at work. And so you walk home from school. No one's there. And you have a key and you go inside and put on TV and do whatever. So I guess I was five or six and Joanne was my neighbor and um, was the person I was able to call if something was going to go wrong in my house. So it's uh it's pretty crazy and her daughter was one of my closest friends um as i don't know at six seven eight nine but anyway eft tapping check it out listen know that you're not alone we're in this together we're processing these challenging emotions together we're going to get through it together we have the tools and resources to get through it including the ability to create design uplift encourage Um, It's a good time, you know, to reach out and give what you can give. If it's a word of encouragement, a smile, a loving Zoom call, you know, you can do FaceTime videos with people. Uh, Courtney was doing something really beautiful. It was like uh, an art class with all the cousins. So find ways to connect and um, I'll see you all tomorrow.